Hi guys and welcome to this video. This video I'm doing because Ali Glindness or Glindness, I can't pronounce her name, but she inspired me of doing this video. She did some something similar where she took all of her old favorites and uh, created a makeup look. So I thought today that I'm going to put out all of my products that I've used that I've used the most and also product that I used the least on my YouTube channel and he, I'm going to create a makeup look so if you're interested to see what I really what I like for a very long at least a year and what I've used off camera then please keep on watching okay guys so I did my favorite favorite of 2020 video and I showed you guys the products that I really loved through whole year but there are some products that I loved year before that too and during that year that I used but I've used them off camera and when I started this video or got an idea to do this video I started to go through my makeup stash and see what I like but almost all of the products I've used or took out or picked up are discontinued <laughs> So I'm kind of, want, I want to use them again and they're old, maybe should stay away from, but I still want to use them. But you can't get them anywhere. Let me know down below if you want to see me create a makeup look. There is a hair on my face. If you want to see me create a makeup look with products that I love that are discontinued, please let me know down below because there are so many of products that I really, really like, still have because I didn't want to finish them up or, you know, use them up that are discontinued but let me know down below because i really want to use those products again but yeah let's start now plenty of these products i looked up and you can actually purchase all of these products so i already put my moisturizer on and let's start with a face primer a face primer that i really really like and it's not i started using it last year and i talked about it on my favorite videos but I still had to have it it's this Becca this is uh, under eye primer I don't know what it does but it just makes everything look perfect my concealer looked perfect I just take a little bit of it you can't see it you can't really feel it under the eyes but it just does something I don't know if you can see it just does something that makes my concealer look better less creasy and also uh, I look less dry under the eyes and also my lines smile lines that I have around my eyes I say smile lines because when I smile they pop up <laughs> pop up they are less visible so I need to talk about this in every video if I have to okay another face product that I I don't know if I reviewed it on my channel, but there is, oh, I forgot his name. Um, sorry guys, I'm so bad at names, but he talked about, there is a makeup artist that uh, talked about this face primer. This is the Absence from Ardell Mineral. Ardell Mineral, I don't know if I pronounced it right. It's very dirty, it's very used. This is a mattifying primer and I use it with this, that's kind of like see-through, can't really see it. There is some... I've used a black, this kind of sponge, and now I have black dots everywhere, but I still use it. I love, love this primer. It mattifies, it kind of also fills in my pores, it keeps my makeup in place whole day. I just love this primer. I don't know why people are not talking about it a lot. This could definitely be underrated product because it is it's so good it's been out there for years and years and years it's very good primer it really controls my oils makes everything stay in place another product that I've used a lot that actually ta Tati Westbrook um, did I pronounce her last name right I think so Tati talked about her on channel this is Tarte's uh, Timeless Smoothing Primer I re talked about this on my I've used a lot I talked about this on my channel many times but I still use it and still love it it definitely i know this primer that i've used is pore filling but let's just say that i do have huge pores that i don't want to see so much this is definitely make them less visible 
while this is sitting on my face I'm going to use eyeshadow primer well I have plenty of primers that I like right now and especially primers that I using currently trying out because I'm creating this big video where I try around 15 different eyeshadow primers that I try for a long time that I'm going to review on my channel and see which one of those are keeping my oils in control. I already did that video that video for like two years ago and there are some other that I have tried so new and old primers that I'm going to review but one of my favorite eyeshadow primers is the Wet n Wild wet and wild eyeshadow primer photo focus now this is kind of like urban decay urban decays primer it has more coverage uh, but this one doesn't have any but it still makes less expensive but it still makes my oils in control whole day whole whole day and it actually is one of the best eyeshadow primers now everybody's eyes are different everybody's skin is different that's why I'm doing the videos where I review plenty of eyeshadow primers because you need to try out. You need to find what's working for you. I know people that hate this primer that it doesn't work for at all, but for me it works wonder. I have very oily eyelids, but what I do with every single eyeshadow primer that I try is actually set it with powder. I know it doesn't make your eyeshadow look it kind of takes down the pigmentation of some eyeshadows but you know what it makes my eyeshadow stay on whole day and that's what I want pigmentation of course but for me number one is to keep it in place now powder that I just love and is still available it's and people are not talking about it it's actually L'Oreal true match minerals matting fine primer now I don't have plenty of it I hate the packaging I, what's what's with this it's everywhere what's look how huge this is why why don't get the packaging but this guys this is probably one of the best best setting powders I'm going to set my eyeshadow base I'm going to use this also to set my foundation but I just love this powder it smooths my face it keeps my face matte and I just look photo finished so I really love this powder now I haven't used it uh, because I when I love something I kind of feel sad to use up the product but I know I can get a new one so I'm going to use it and it's maybe expired but is it 24 months maybe not maybe not maybe it's like on the edge to be expired so we are going to use it okay foundation we renovated our bedroom and my windows is still not fixed so I still don't have all of my lights up but I threw out all of my makeup that it's expired except the eyeshadow palettes that I I can't, I can't get rid of them. I collect the eyeshadow uh, palettes. I love looking at them. I like swatching them even if they're old. And I don't have a heart to let go of eyeshadow palettes. I don't know why that's my big problem. My sickness maybe, I don't know. But I just love eyeshadow palettes. Now, foundations. I threw out a lot of foundations. And even my favorites that were expired. But I didn't get any new because... I have plenty to use up, let's just say that. But one that I really, really like and definitely going to repurchase is the Urban Decay Stay Wetless Liquid Foundation. I have two shades here. This is the shade that I've used a lot. This is a little bit too dark. It's definitely my, not even my summer shades. It's a little bit darker than that too. But maybe I'll, no, I mix it with other light eyeshadow, eyeshadows, no, light foundations. But this is, and I have it in shade 40NN. I don't know if it's going to match me right now, but I'm going to use it. I tried another, oh, what it's called, foundation from Urban Decay Stay. Don't remember what it's called, but that one was terrible. This one I like a lot. It's kind of liquidy. I don't like the scent, but it's a very nice. No, maybe the shade is okay. And uh, this is like full coverage, medium to full coverage, but of course you can have light coverage too if you don't apply a lot on the foundation and you can build it up. So I do like like this foundation a lot. My <laughs> I look funny. My lights are off, sorry guys. 
I like this foundation a lot. I didn't use it as much right now because there are other foundations more affordable, but this is definitely uh, one that I've used many, many times and also repurchased. Let's go to the concealer. The concealer that I really like and use, I, th I used it in the beginning on my channel too, but I have been using it off camera a lot and it's Huda Beauty. And this is a little bit too light shade for me. I think I have it in shade 04N. More, more, I can't pronounce the name, so let's just go. I love this concealer. It's full coverage, it's so light on the skin and it doesn't make me look cakey and it feels so good to apply it. It doesn't make me look cakey, it just smooths everything and makes everything look so damn good. And this is definitely full coverage concealer. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. Love that. So let's go in with this powder from L'Oreal. Now, I always have problem using this powder because of the uh, packaging. So what I like to do is it's to have something to put it in, to put it in because I just hate the packaging. Smooths out everything. This powder smooths out everything. Pick up the rest of the powder. Um, it definitely made me look very bright under the eyes. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, let's go to the next next product now. I'm going to use the eyeshadow. For the eyeshadow was the hardest thing for me to pick up. Now I have plenty of eyeshadows that I love and some of them are discontinued. But there is one eyeshadow palette that I've used off camera but didn't use a lot on my channel is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe second palette. And it has all of these pink and purpley shades. Now I've been using this off camera, but not a lot on camera. So I'm going to use it today. It's a very nice palette. If you like the, those purpley pinkish shades, it's affordable. And I just like it a lot. I'm going to take this big fluffy brush from my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collab, G and GH30. And I'm going to go in with oh, this shade here. It's called Love Handle Handles. And it's a little bit powdery, so have that in mind. But it doesn't bother me at all. I look so dry right now because I've used so many mattifying products on my face. A lot of powder, but when we put the setting spray on top, it's going to look much better. Okay, so I'm then going to take a smaller brush for the crease, crease brush. I want to go in with this shade here, the Therapy, this purpley shade here. I'm going to go in uh, in the crease. I'm going to make a bit a dark purpley look, so that's what I went with the darker shade in my crease the beginning so we're going to go in with this deeper purple shade not my journey this shade here with the same brush stamp 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 I need to stamp this shade on and not blend them immediately because you going to they're going to look patchy then if you do that so just stamp and slightly blend that's pretty and now we're going to try to blend the edges I'm going to create like a hello eye it's been a while since I've did this 
kind of make up looks. Okay, so I'm going to take a smaller br brush because I want to go in with the black. So for black, I'm going to go in with Kaya's Cosmetics 2 brush. It's like a, I'm going to clean it. It's very pointy, but also soft and hard at the same time. So this kind of brush. And I'm going to go in this black, <laughs> in this black shade. It's a very nice pigmented black. And I'm not going to end too much. I'm just going to work what I have on my eyes or on the brush to deep up the edges a little bit. Okay, we are going to go back with this brush that we use for purple and just go on top of this black without adding more, fun, more uh, eyeshadow. I'm going to go with my finger and go into this dark shade here, good place, this here. And I'm going to go in and add that to the parts here. And I like going in with my fingers for these sh shimmery shades. Actually, I want to use it all over the eyelid in the center. Let's do that. It's pretty. It looks much better than I thought it's going to look. Well, I messed up a little bit here with this purple shade, if you can see. So I'm going to go in and use a lot of powder. I'm going to go in with Huda Beauty powder also that I like a lot. And bake under the eyes a lot, a lot, a lot just to kind of catch more of a fallout because we are going to have more fallout that that's for sure i'm going to use the brush that we use for the purple the first shade i'm going to go in the one that we use for the crease just to kind of you know blend the edges make everything seamless so i'm going to do that fast so now everything is blended and what I want to do is actually take a brush and see if we can um, make this purple in the center more dramatic. So I'm going to take a brush, uh, don't remember, a flat one, what the brand is, a go with this purple that we had, the shimmery purple. Take a lot of that and use a setting spray. So I'm going to go... Hmm, Let's go in with the face mist, just wet the brush. Let's see if we can. Yeah, definitely showing up more shimmery. Okay, and then I'm going to go and use my finger and go into this I'm in it shade here. That looks white, but when you swatch it, it has that pinkish duochrome. Thing, and we're going to go and place it in the center to bright up this look. See? That's cute. And it's not taking away the purple, it just makes it look more bright. I'm going to clean this brush that I had for purple and the black one. I'm going to go in with the purple shade, uh, this here in my lower lash line. So we're going to go in and use another brush. This is one of my favorite brushes to blend the low lash line. This is Morphe and Jaclyn Hill uh, 640 brush, I think it's called. Yes. And I'm going to go in with the shade here, uh, this one, to blend the edges. And yes, we're going to go very low. 
now I'm taking the Sosa and Kayla collab brush. This is Esco 06. It's just like a small flat brush. And I'm going to go in with this first shade here, the set, 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 what it's called? Certified, I think it's called this. And it's just a, not white, but like kind of white nudish sh shade without any shimmer and just bright out. Here we're going to place highlighter here too later. But we just want to. Then one of my favorite uh, liners for the waterline is of course Linda Halberg, but the one that I've used also the most that it's waterproof it's from Milani stay put waterproof eyeliner that I got from my friend Valerie and it's in purple shade I use it when I use purple eyeshadows um, on my waterline so I need a mirror I can't use you know how people do that with one hand I can't I can't I'm sorry I'm old school let's see oh this is so pigmented and beautiful I only have this purple shades, what my friend Valerie sent to me, but I need to check out more shades of this. So beautiful. Okay, so we are going to do eyebrows. An eyebrow product that I loved for years and I still have it. I use it off camera. It's the Brow Control Pro. It's this. I do have it in this collection like a pen and it's brown light. So what I like to do is go with the lighter shade here in front, the beginning of the eyebrow. It's a little bit, you know, warmer than I usually like, but it's working when I add the darker brown shade. So a lighter one here and I go, yes, a lot go in with a lot of product and then I'm going to show you what I do to make it look nice. Then I go to the darker brown shade and then I go and blend. I don't go all the way here, I just in the beginning here. And then I take a spoolie. I'm going to. I like this elf brown, elf one too. But that one I do use on the camera when I film. And we are blending together. For setting my eyebrows, uh, the old favorite is. I have plenty of products that I right now like, but one favorite product that I've used for years. It's it's also from the Benefit Gimme Brow I have in smaller and this is in I think it's brown or it's number four yes and I set everything now for the bronzer there are plenty of bronzers that I like plenty of bronzers that I use off camera now I needed to mention a couple of things. The thing that I use off camera often is the Huda Beauty's Tantor and this is in light. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of that today. I'm going to go in with this kind of brush and just use it a little bit. Now I applied a lot of powder but I try to not apply too much there. It's what, what product I really like to contour and I've used a lot of it. This is in light. There are lighter shades too. One lighter shade too. And I go in with the brush and then on my hand and just to contour. I love this product. See? Beautiful. And what I like to do is to take the sponge that I have for my foundation and just blend everything. And for the bronzer, there are two bronzers that I like. One is Hourglass and I've used a lot of that. I don't know if you can see, I dipped into this one a lot. I really, really like that bronzer. And the other one is, oh, it's so old, 
but I don't use it as much as I used before. This is the Milani Baked Bronzers. I have two shades. I have in Dolce and in Glow, these two shades. Now, I don't usually go for shimmery, uh, shimmery blushes or brushes, bronzers. I'm going to go with Hourglass first, but I like edit, uh, right now to edit a little bit of the glow when I have like this full, full coverage. I love going in with my bronzers, guys. I love bronzers. I love going in hard and use plenty. That's just how I like it and what I prefer and what I love and what feels right for me. See how nice this one is. So I'm going to go in with this too. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Dolce. It's baked. Just, it's not too shimmery, it gives a nice glow. I just don't use it as much as I've used it before, but it's definitely an old favorite. Bringing the old favorite, oh my God, this is the nude blush from BH Cosmetics palette. Now, this is what the Raw Christie Beauty made me buy, I have to say, because she loved this palette. You have everything you need in this. You have everything you need. I'm not, I don't use it on camera a lot, but off camera I'm using it. I, I forgot to look up if this is still available to buy. I hope it is. I'm going to go in with uh, this shade here. This is beautiful blushes. It's a little bit too pinkish for this look. Hmm. Let's go in with this shade too. Just a little bit to dip it up. Applied a little bit too much. Of course, it's pigmented. The pigment is there definitely, but it blends like a dream. I'm going just with my powder blush to correct a little bit. See? Make everything look flawless and beautiful. We are going full, full glam look. Now, palette, all favorite. Sorry guys, I forgot to see if it's still available, but this is the Spotlight Highlight Palette from BH Cosmetics. One of my first palettes that I purchased. It's beautiful. I'm going to go in with this shade here, with my finger, of course, and look at that glow. Now, I know, People are all less into the bling bling highlighters, but I'm not. I'm still in love with this kind of highlighters and it's not too dark, no. Let's go in just slightly with this shade, just a little bit on top. And I'm going to go in with my sponge and press. It's what I like to do, just, just press it to make it look more wet. You see, it looks a little bit more wet. And we are going to go in with that small brush that we used before under the eyebrows. And we're going to use this too. Nope, we are not. Let's go in with this shade here. And let's put some in here. Now this is an old favorite. I do have other highlighters that I've used a lot, uh, but it's discontinued. <laughs> But this is what I like a lot. Okay, let's go and set everything before we go in with lashes. And for the setting spray, I don't actually have an old favorite. Uh, unfortunately, because I do use up all of my, all of my, what it's called, all of my setting sprays. I don't collect them. I use them up. But one that I repurchased and repurchased and repurchased again, it's actually... Fix Plus. So I'm going to use that and then I'm going to go on top with this veil. Fix, uh, sorry, Fix Plus, it's not making my makeup stay on longer. It just makes everything blend into each other and look less powdery, like magic setting spray. But I do like to go in with another one before this one dries up, down completely.
This one is so easy to overdo because the mist is so nice. Can't even see it. Sometimes I apply so much that it looks like it just came out from shower. That's how I go in hard with it. So I'm going to go in with my sponge and just press everything slightly into the skin. Oh, look how everything looks so smooth and beautiful right now. Love that. Now, off camera, I do like uh, Rebecca Stella's lip liner. It's one of the best, but off camera, I often go in also with these essence. Now, I haven't been using them for a while because I'm using the Rebecca Stella's, but I'm going to go in and see. I have two shades going study here from Essence. I don't know if that's going to be nice with the lipstick I'm th thinking about using, but we'll see. Yeah, this one is like purpley nude shade color and I'm going to go in also with this shade Big Proposal that it's very used. This is a little like a brownish shade. I can never make my sides even. One side is smaller than the other one and I can never make them even so let's just forget and not continue with that. The lipstick that I've used a lot of off camera it's my care cosmetics liquid lipstick that I reviewed like two years ago and today I'm going to go in with the shade oh what it's called uh, my darling I don't know if it's going to be nice with this one mm, too cold just like the colors so when it's dry it, it kind of look feels like that mousse but it dries down matte uh, dries down to a, like powder feeling. It's hard to explain, but I do like our cosmetics lip lip uh, lipsticks, liquid lipstick. I love the L'Oreal mascara for a long time, and it's one of my favorite. But I don't have L'Oreal Paradise, I think it's called. I don't have that. And Cl Clinics, I forgot the green tube. I forgot what the name of that is. But one that I've used a lot of camera. It's what I got from my sister. I got the smaller size and the bigger size, this Tarte mascara. So I'm going to go and use that today because it's what I've used, what I use when I go to work off camera. And so let's be true to myself. Does my, make my eyelashes long and beautiful. So that's one coat and it already looks nice. I can I usually build them up because I don't go with falsies to work. But today I am going to use falsies because I love falsies. And my favorite fall eyelashes ever are Adele Demi Whispers. They're perfect for my eye. I use plenty of these. I'm going to open a new package. They work for my eyes. I don't need to cut them, make them shorter. I just love, love Demi Whisper. So guys, sorry I dis disappeared <laughs> or you didn't really realize that, but while I was applying my eyelashes, my camera stopped working because the card was full with my clips. So I had to upload every clip or every video that I filmed on my computer and start again. So it took me kind of, I had this makeup on now for an hour. Okay, an hour. So now it's time for the last product and it's actually lip gloss. So the lip gloss from Bare Minerals and it's the 24 karat. This lip gloss is just perfect. It's beautiful. It is, uh, let me show. It has like shimmer to it or a glitter gold. Oh, it's stunning on the lips. See? Now I hate when I get this dirty, but I'm going to clean it. It smells minty. It feels comfortable on the lips. When I rub my lips, I can feel the glitter, but it doesn't, it's not chunky, chunky. You could feel it a little bit, but it's not bothering me. 
and I really really like this lip gloss it just makes everything look so perfect and smooth and my lips look so plump and I just like that lip gloss a lot that's everything I'll be wearing off camera guys I think this turned out beautifully I love purple eyeshadows especially for my dark eyes I just love it I think it looks amazing I think it looks beautiful let me know down below if there is any product that you that I have here that I tried today that you like too, that you used, let me know down below. Let me also know guys, what is your favorite product that you go back to over and over again. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in my next video. I love you guys, bye.